Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are here with our last Witcher 3 video. Um, I'm not gonna waste too much time talking right now, just because we are in a crucial part of the story, so let's go ahead and keep following Regis here. And we're gonna go free Sienna. Oh, shit. Oh my god! We must put him down before he kills again. Okay, we are killing him, okay. Oh! Ow! Ah! <laughs> I'm getting wiped, man. Fuck. You get him, that You get him, Regis. You, you got this. You got it, man. You got it. Lesser vampires would heed a higher vampire's call and commands. As a rule, they don't. So how Detlaf sick them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He manages to bend them to his will, control them with his thumbs. Ow! Continue attacking until he orders them to back down, until he dies. Missing this Regis, goddamn, there's a fucking Bruxer right here. Bitch. Whatever, let's follow him, goddammit. Each moment's delay means another death. All right, all right. They broke formation, ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's right. go. Eric, he put up in the street. That's the most to a They didn't know. I didn't get a chance to prepare them. I fell on his face, struck in the back. Tried to run. They must have realized they could not hold this position. Hope they found a corner to hide in. Won't be anyone to talk to if not. Okay, we just really isn't doing anything. <laughs> in here, in here. See, the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, <coughs> remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. <coughs> Smart here. Come on. <clears throat> Men, tend to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver, 
That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxelles. The shapely ones resemble women. They're one moment, gone the next. Bones containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. I got a different plan. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial, in custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Fuck dying. I won't insist. No. Folk are dying. Many more will. Because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When... When last I saw Sienna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sienna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. All right. Thanks for the help, man. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. You ready? Playroom. Let's go. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playroom's beyond this door. Oh! What? <laughs> Jeez! Damn, dude. Scared that I was just looking around. Okay. Uh, Regis. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Inside the place. So you can still, at this point, switch what you want to do. Nah, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this. Locked. Of course. Reaches. Do you mind? Yeah, you mind, Regis? Regis. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. At your service. <laughs> oh, nice bow. Move. Let me in. Move. Silence. Regis! We should look around at least. Oops. Alright, let's look around. Looty loot. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Looty loot. Take all the goodies. Ooh, pretty music. Something inside? Nope, empty. So we gotta find out what happened to Sienna. Let's see. Ooh, creepy music. A tin knight. A rocking horse. Rather worn. I suppose it got a lot of use. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism's damaged. It's a little creepy. Miniature tableware. And plush toys. Cute. Mm hmm. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort. Court governess. The notes of Sienna and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. 
I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Sienna gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Uh, Perhaps uh... not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Sienna does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Wow. Sianna gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rieta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Sianna. Wow. He vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rieta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted. But the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. It's sad. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudellaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. <laughs> the girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Alright, this is... Hmm. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Sianna applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Anna Rieta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Sianna laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blooder is damned, or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> His face. All right. Got mm. to know more about them, I Realize guess. This might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Sianna into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there and isolated. We oh, must that's see. smart. All right. Well, let's look around still. Where's I'm that missing. book? Open. Locked. Hmm. All right. We need a key. We've got dolls. Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by Lady Chambermaid. <laughs> I missed. Oh no, it's locked. Let's check the painting. Well, well. Ah. I can't help behind a picture. Again, smart. Now let's open this. There we go. Is it? Let's see. Uh, does it not have a- I mean, that's a latch, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you should unbuckle the latch? Oh no, you gotta say the words. Oh. Ex 
Specto Ludum. Whoa. What? <laughs> We're Regis. in a fucking Disney movie, bro. Uh oh. Where's Regis? He turned into a horse. Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. This is oh sh Let's see where this road takes me. Oh my. This is a new type of game, huh? I have Nahelene's going wild. All land's an illusion. It's so powerful there's no way to dispel it. Ah. Wait, what did it say? Warning Whoa. spells? That should be interesting. Remain stable until June. Wait, June what? Oh, uh, 12 okay. I just don't want to miss anything. Going this way? Whoa. What is this path that they have me on? Oh my. Okay, let's just follow the damn path, Geralt. Whoa. How pretty. Oh, what is this? Look how little they are. <laughs> oh my. What the hell, man? Okay. Going. All the mushrooms. Bloody uh, hell! Let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread. What? Now it's my turn to gobble him. <laughs> oh, there she is. Off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it. Uh, hi. Greetings. What's up? Wow, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. Well, thanks. <laughs> but never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Oh, whoa. Look, 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 we don't gotta fight! As soon catch you. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. You cannot possibly fear No, 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 of course not. Oh, no, not these things. I hate these things, bro. Oh man, I fucking hate these things with the passion, bro. Oh, 
Aw, you bitch. She's almost down. Come on. Oh, a panther. What the? Fuck? of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How do you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Jesus Here Christ. It is. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, Jack and the beans I just stop. want your beans, so you can <laughs> breathe easy. What's that about? Beans? What beans? Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but... But I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all. Hmm? This little picky went to market. Oh my god. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. But, but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better <laughs> know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoot. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Um, came to for you? Came to look for my lost child? <laughs> Um, should I? Is that a sark? Like a smart ass? Let's see. Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care More and his little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? <laughs> it's Deadlove. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Detlaf, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Detlaf, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? Well, normally I'd tell you to sod off, but from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Detloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. All right. Let's get out of here. Now we just gotta figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> this place. Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Oturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here, so you had best be on your watch. 
Since you brought it up, the knights Dedloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first wow. attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Uh, that, no, explains a lot. <laughs> that explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Oh. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you, Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So what's with these beans? Uh, so, do you not know the story, girl? <laughs> what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm. Certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. <laughs> you know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. Yep. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Oh, I lead. The person that's ever been here before. Okay. <laughs> Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. Alright. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently. We can stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed. Watch out! Pixies! Oh. Oh. What are these? What? Oh! There's a lot of them. Arr, bitch. Meaning you. Ooh, how pretty. Look at this. Oh, unicorns. We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, this is the witcher. This Exciting, is the witcher. isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? <laughs> Rather not. Oh my god. This is something else, bro, but it's so cool. No here. None at all. Oh. 
like that silver. That's it. Ow. God damn, these wolves are hurt. Always lies. <laughs> ah, boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! Oh my god, this bitch. <laughs> uh, what happened to it? Know where the blue bean is? So like, okay, we're gonna talk about all of them. This'll be interesting. Right. Let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! My god. All right, the blue bean. <laughs> Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody. Three times over. Help! Wolves! <laughs> okay. Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? Damn. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Oh my god, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. I should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Fine. Let's get to work. Alright, this is so beautiful. Alright, the three little pigs it is. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? I like, I Dr. 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 Cake in the swan's nest once. That's what I think. Stole the pee out from the princess. He sleeps to this day, I think. Can we fight these pixies. Oh look! The Emperor of Nilfgaard! He's come out to show off his new robe. Yes, bastard! Kind 
they're running away. Come on. Puss in Boots? <laughs> His little hat. You. What? Care for a cigarillo? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tale are you from? Sold to Flint's when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Sweet magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find his keepers, sweetheart. What? What's the deal with the ribbon? The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Turius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Uh. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere? Oh my god. You skank away my customers. Bitch witch customers. Oh, look at his boots. That's totally Puss in Boots. Alright. Give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? Oh, bitch, let's go! Gwent champion right here. Or 500. Uh well, what else does she sell? What have you got to sell exactly? Like I said, tobacco, fish tech, all sorts of things. Have a look. I have the money, I could just buy it. Golden thread gold ball. Ah. Gingerbread man. Magic mushrooms. Okay. Nothing we really need, right? I'll just pay her. I, I, as much as I like playing Gwent, uh, I, I, I don't want to waste any more time. Fine, I'll pay you for the ribbon. This enough. It's enough. Now go away. Now go away. <laughs> the fuck, this girl. <laughs> oh, the little teddy bear. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. I'm not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Oh. I feel bad for her. She's been treated like shit. Growing up. Um... Let's go back though. There is um some stuff I missed. There's a board right here. Got some contracts here and a journal. Contract from a goose. That's new. You really aim to concern yourself with that? A true witcher should never abandon poultry in distress. <laughs> Oh. More of them. More of these little bitches. Of the big bad wolf. Looks like Big Bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. 
Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One being lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Mm -hmm. Ah, that could be it. Oh, uh, maybe we should just look around? Oh, should I R the house down? It's not gonna work though, is it? Boop. Oh. Oh my god, we gotta kill them? I feel bad. Witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? What the fuck? You actually have a sense of humor. What? <laughs> Is that so straight? Stunned? But there. Stunted a bit, but yeah, it's there. Well, well, aren't you full of surprises? What else are you hiding behind that gruff exterior? Not a bad singer. Do a pretty mean rendition of the Maids of Vicovaro, for instance. What is happening right now? Some other time, maybe. Look at that look she's giving us. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. She wants a piece of Geralt. And she so, went with that you like it here? No. Got a problem with magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. <laughs> Don't trust any of it. A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. It's always grapple up her grave in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. This long locks tower? Indeed. Even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing snuff my strong suit. Gotcha. <laughs> There we go. How pretty. Look at it. So pretty. I'm a little nervous. Oh my. Wait, uh. Oh. Look at it, bro. The rainbow. So pretty. Anything in here? Uh, can I pull myself up on this? There we go. Gonna be very careful. <laughs> and we're here. Where the hell is Rapunzel? Beautiful, man. It's so nice. Alright. Still got a way up to go? Okay. Maybe she's up here. <gasps> oh my god, that's terrible! Oh my god, I don't even want to look at that. So creepy. Oh, it's just to defeat the. Oh, she's not even attacking us. What the 
feel bad. She's not even attacking us. <gasps> oh my god. This is scary as fuck. I don't know what to do. She's like stuck in there. I guess I should reload. I don't know. Are specters, I think. Ow. for nothing. Alrighty. Now we just need one more bean. Alright. Got the bean. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. Wow. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I had gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detloff. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance. But he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. <laughs> he turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? I'm not a frightened of a vampire, really. A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me, too? Ugh, oh, mother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. <laughs> no, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Deadlove, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition. That he meant me no harm. That he was trying to frighten me off, for he, too, was scared. Now, do you understand? I guess. <laughs> what happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. 
to return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. <laughs> All right. Will of the Wisp. I think it's got something to show us. Careful. Ooh. It's not to be trusted. Oh. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit Aww. too big, the other too small, the third just right. <laughs> They're cute. Um. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. What is that noise? What is that? Oh, that's the wolf! Oh my god! He threw up? Hello? Can we talk? Shmoomwatch, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard! God. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. <laughs> At the bed, what brings you? Have a drink with us. You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what now? Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. <laughs> you know fuck? what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question. And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Given one for safekeeping, but. Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats! <laughs> Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, Little Red Riding Hoods popped her clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Who now what's at the bottom of the well? Wow. She and the hunter. Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Okay, that's <laughs> prickly wolf. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. No, rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. 
That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish I knew it. it out. Well, chop chop. Here we go. Into the well. All right. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Whee! All right. It's a well. Oh, there it is. Poor girl. And the hunter. Although, I mean, if they were bugging the wolf like that, <laughs> maybe she deserved it. Alright. Let's make our way back. <laughs> Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Perfect. Oh. So-so. Not bad, not bad at all. Don't know much about fashion. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And you, the hunter. Oh my god. Do I get a hat or something? You again? I thought that was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Uh, can you not see? Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, <laughs> go closer, sweetie. Sweetie, but grandmama, what big eyes you have! The better to see you, is my dear. Granny, what big arms you have! <laughs> the better to embrace you, is my dear. And grandmama, what big teeth you have! Eh? The better to eat you is, my dear! Rawr! Rawr! Bad. Remember what Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Ah, ah at last we have them all. What? What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Uh, you're just less interesting than you think. That's so rude. Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They escorted you out of the duchy. Yes, and the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? 
That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly, and eventually I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Wow. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. I feel bad, man. She's been through so much shit. It makes sense why she's... I mean, not, I wouldn't say lashing out, but, you know, why she's acting like this. And why she's done what she's done. Alright. Well... We can plant these... Four animals stacked atop yep. each other. What was the tale called again? The Musicians of Blaviken. Huh. You have some link to the town as well, don't you? Mm -hmm. But my tale's not much like this one. Alright, let's go plant these beans. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. All right. Toss them. No, it's gonna just fucking sprout. Uh, something's always gotta go wrong. Oh my god! <laughs> I knew it. The home stretch. <laughs> All right. Time for a climb. Stormy. She's smiling. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with. Uh oh. Him. Oh my. Fantastic. Here we go. Boss fight. Let's go, boy. Let's see what works best on it. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh!
we're gonna get him to strike this. Or strike these thingies. This way. Ow! Go, go. Damn it! Missed. expected to be so severe can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose why ever would I have to get rid of your guard your captor getting close to the exit at this point probably think you don't need me anymore well you're wrong you still stand to be quite useful to me <laughs> I see this shit going on how that's so how plan to use me like you did Deadloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Oh. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt. What the fuck? I'm not what? afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. Let her have her way with you? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I feel bad. I feel like every DLC we're cheating on yet. Oh! Shit! We're doing this now. Oh my god! <laughs> okay! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? This is so weird, dude. But kind of cool. <laughs> what? She's freaky. <laughs> Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, it'd probably be best. 
Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you, for everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way. This is not how I'd expect this to end, bro. <laughs> we fucking just went through all the fairy tales and had sex in the clouds. Like, what the fuck? Alright guys, so I was not expecting this to take this long. Uh, I was really expecting to beat this game today. But it's actually looking like we'll have to finish this game in another video. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in the gear use. And I'll see you guys in the next video.